Ben Davis, Kelly K Show. I guess this could be kind of a setting the bar story, right? Probably. Uh, setting the bar, we always give you stories of what not to do if you can manage to make it through the day without um, being hired to bake a unicorn birthday cake for a fifth birthday party. Can you guess what part? Looks like something else. And have it turn out more like a unicorn wiener cake, then you're doing okay. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Alexandra <laughs> on the receiving end of that one. Alexandra Schroeder says she spent over a month planning her daughter's fifth birthday party. Yeah, fifth birthday party for sure. Mm-hmm. But it turned out to be a disaster. Oh, boy. Okay, what happened? Schroeder says she paid Whip Bakery $370 to rent space for a baking birthday bash mm-hmm. and a unicorn cake. Okay, so okay, so you get the cake in when you rent the space for the party. Yeah, good deal. Yeah, yeah. so right. so she's she's doing all that. She's yeah. going all in. Three hundred seventy bucks. She claims the bakery only provided one table and six chairs for a party of thirteen. Oh, that's not okay. Enough. That doesn't seem like enough. No. What did they say? I was told by the staff that my guests could stand. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well. All right. Hey, guess what, Alexandra? The the rest of your guests can stand. (laughs) You ever heard of Duck, Duck, Goose? (laughs) Play that. And a cake that was supposed to resemble a unicorn. Mm Mm-hmm. What 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 happened? Was far from her expectations. Oh, that's putting it lightly. All right. Is she going to describe it? Yeah. The horn came out in a shape that was so embarrassing. I... It was very embarrassing, and it had... Come on, Alexandra, you can she say it. She's really dancing around it. <laughs> I know, you she's can say dancing. it. You can say no, it. No, she's not. Fingerprints on it and was not gold. I could tell it had been handled. Oh, when wow. I asked to see the cake pre-party mm-hmm. before my guests arrived, uh-huh. I was told it wasn't finished. Okay. Uh, okay, so when she got the unicorn cake back on the table, mm-hmm. she had seen that there were like fingerprints on the fondant. Yeah, you're supposed to smooth that out. And, well, here's the thing. They just couldn't get the horn right. And they so just I, can't get my horn right. So they were probably trying to, like, grip. Why are you making that hand gesture, <laughs> well, sir? They were probably trying to grip well, we the know horn. The horns come to a very pointy tip. This horn. This is pretty girthy all the way. I'll say that. <laughs> Schroeder says when she shared pictures of the cake on Facebook, oh. staff accused her of leaving the place trashed uh-huh. with a negative balance. Oh, okay. okay. So, so then she just shares oh, no. it on Facebook, and she's she's like not asking for her money back, no, but she but just wants to share her experience with potential customers. So yeah, uh-huh. then the bakery blocks her from her, their Facebook oh, page. Of course, sure. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They're like, uh, uh-uh. uh. Uh huh. So, anyways, well, word's got to get out though that they have a different take on the horns. I mean, it's a unicorn wiener cake, right? Well, it's just, just again, it's just kind of Kelly. It looks like it's just girthy all the way up. You know when you've watched that baking show called Nailed It, yeah, on TV where, where they it's don't amateur nail it. chefs trying to nail Pinteresty type things, yes, and they usually fail miserably. This is a perfect example of that. Oh, a thousand percent. But this is a professional bakery. Like you're supposed to trust that they're good <laughs> at that. So, okay. but um, they, it just, they just needed to be, it needed to be pointy. The tip needed to be the a little tip pointer. The needed to be pointy. It's the tip of the unicorn horn. All right. It was So, girthy. again, if you can manage to make it through the day without um, creating a unicorn cake for a customer and having it more resemble a wiener cake Stacy horn... She just texted us a picture. Yes, Stacy, you are way better than this bakery was. Way better at your horn. Okay. Way better. Okay. Stacy, you nailed it. You know what? We'll pass along your number. There you go. All right. That's, that's setting the bar story on 99.7 DJX. Listening to the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast. Can't get enough. Come back tomorrow for a brand new episode. Only on 99.7 DJX.